Greetings from uh, Florida Simulcast Group. This is uh, Brian Fields with the radio call sign W9CR. And you can see here, we just cleaned up our rack. Finally, we had a bunch of temporary things in here. And uh, this is our main repeater controller here. Um, 220 repeater, 220 pre-selector, and 220 duplexer. There's a power supply. This is a management computer for the Quantars. Uh, I believe this is our 900 megahertz repeater right here. And then going down, we have our UHF right here. Uh, it uh, has a V24 issue right now. That's why it's blinking. Uh, that'll be fixed remotely, though. And then we, uh, we had to replace our network switch, <coughs> which is now right here. Uh, that's our main router and switch for everything ham ramp LAN related. We have a pretty nice setup there for our Cat5 coming in. It's patched in. We also have a little micro tick down here doing some VPN stuff. And then finally, some of the other UHF repeater stuff down here. That's the uh, uh, K9RAX repeater. And. Uh, that's our, uh, our setup here around front. Come around back, we have a little, well, we have our commercial combining up here and then also that's our GMRS repeater combining. Um, this is everything coming in from the roof. And of course, have everything surge pressed, grounded right here. Comes into the surge arresters and then a lot of the stuff we run requires 24 volt PoE. We still want to power it from the switch because it gives us a lot of flexibility. Uh, and that is done in these things. They convert the 48 volt standard PoE to what the Ubiquiti or MicroTik routers require, or radios require. Uh, again, good quality shielded cable coming in. We have a couple extra runs should we need it. And then uh, these guys here are our, our cavities for UHF combining. This all goes up into our various antennas and TX, RX, everything gets grounded uh, right then and there. On the, uh, the ground, you can see that this is grounded very well. And this is actually kind of nice. We have overhead cable uh, going to all the repeaters. And I can go into the back here, show you a little bit of this. You can see our duplexer there. See if I can open this up. <laughs> 220 amplifier, isolator, pre selector, power supply. There's our 900 duplexer. Uh, this is a 900 pre selector for 900. Uh, main UHF duplexer for the 443 525 repeater. Uh, and then finally, this is another duplexer down here for the 443, 425, 475, something like that. It's pretty close to the other one, so we're able to just get, a, get away that way. And all those going to separate and kind of on the roof. Uh, then we have some of the P25 uh, link stuff over here. This is our main router for that. There's our GMRS repeater. Uh, well, that's our AstroTac voter for it, some of the management stuff, Raspberry Pis that take care of various things there. Um, and of course, this is also married into this, uh, which provides the backhaul and whatnot to remote repeaters. And then there's our GMS repeater, uh, along with a network management server here, which is a Raspberry Pi 4 uh, with external hard drive. So uh, it's got a database server on there, and we don't want it writing to the hard drive for the SD card. And then uh, this is just a surplus repeater at this point. Uh, we may use that in the future for something else. And all this stuff here is on a combiner. So um, then down here, we have some stuff here that's just the commercial side. But uh, this is some of the amateur stuff right here. This is uh, 443 1875. That's uh, the downtown EMR repeater. Uh, by uh, KJ4 SHL is the call sign on that. It's got some information on the website there. So uh, that's some of the ham radio stuff. Um, and 
again, on the combiner as well. It's um, the uh, three racks of uh, finally cleaned up here. Uh, you know, it's a, uh, what do you say, never do the, the, the temporary fix becomes permanent. This took us quite a few hours today to get it cleaned up and uh, it's back to where it should be. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, this is uh, Brian Fields uh, and hey, Ryan, say hi. Hello. Uh, Ryan Owens, KJ4SHL with Florida Simulcast Group.